Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, where you the users can determine what features I will be implementing. So if there's something you want to learn about when coding a website, leave a comment and I just might make a video about it. In this video, we are going to be coding up a signup page, just the front end with HTML, CSS, and jQuery. On our website, we are going to add a signup button here, right in the center over top of the video. Now we want to make sure it looks good on mobile as well. So we're going to make that button jump right below the image. When I click on the sign up button, it will take us to our sign up page, which is also responsive. Our sign up page has a little header up here with a link back to the home page. And the front end validation is very simple, but it's just going to check to see if these fields are filled in. So you can't sign up if you don't have them filled in. Error message up here in red and highlight all the fields that have not been filled in. If I go ahead and fill these fields in, click sign up, it will take us to our login.php page, which is not coded up yet. That's coming in a later video. So this is what our sign up page will look like at the end of this video. First thing we need to code up is our sign up buttons on our home page. On the desktop version, we're going to place it right here over top the video. So underneath our easy code is text, we're going to display a button for signing up. Let's go over to our easy code is homepage, refresh the page. Wow, there it is. Big letters. All right, we need to make that look like a button. Open up our homepage.css file and our global.css file. So the first class we're going to create is our button container. All right, so our button container has been set up. We're going to give it a font size of 14. We're going to give it a nice background color, a little border radius, and a one pixel border. Then on hover, we're going to change the border to be white and the background to be op black with a opacity of 0.5. Fresh our web page here, and there we go. Starting to look good. Our button a little padding. that in its own div and now we have to make it clickable. To do that we are going to add an a tag around our button. Give this a uh, class and we want this link to have a color of white. Text decoration none. Look at that. There's our button. Click on it and we go to signup.php. Now we want to make this button look good on a mobile device. So we're going to bump that sign up button down below the image here instead of having it over the image because it looks kind of cluttered like that. In our index file, we're going to say this is PC only. To do that, we're going to create a class in our global.css file. We need to have desktop version and the mobile version. So on the desktop version, our PC only class will be display block. And then when we're on a mobile device, PC only will be display none. We are also going to create a mobile only class, which will be display none on desktop and it will be display block on mobile. Now that we have our PC only class added here, we can refresh our page. We're looking good on desktop. Drag it down. It should hide our sign up button. Now, we just want to create a button below the image. We're going to copy our action container just like this, paste it right above our welcome to easy code is heading tag, and change it to say mobile only. Now, when we refresh the page, we still have our button on desktop. And when we drag this down for mobile, we see our button disappears over top of the image, and it shows up right down here above our heading. Got a nice little responsive home page here with a sign up button. Click on the sign up button and now it's time to code up signup.php. Our signup.php file is going to require a PHP file, obviously, and a CSS file. We'll call it signup.css. So I got my signup.css file here in the CSS folder. I have my signup.php file right here in the easy code is root folder. We're going to open up both of these and start coding. We need a title. We'll call this easy code is sign up so we want to include our awesome looking code of font from google 
Then we're going to copy over our viewport. Next comes the style sheets. And we're going to change this to sign up. Then we're going to need jQuery along with our loader.js file. So that will do it for our head section for now. Now let's start coding up the actual body. So this is the HTML for our header. We hop over to our sign up page and refresh it. There's our header. Now we just have to make it look prettier. We're going to start with the site header. Copy that into our signup.css. So we're giving our site header a, a dark background and the text will be white. Our header some padding. And then we need to style up our link. All right, so our link is going to have no text decoration, so it won't be underlined. It's going to have white text, and we're going to give it a little bigger font size. See how that looks. There we go. Got a nice looking header there. Next on our list is the actual form container. So just coding up the HTML, we get ourselves a nice looking page like that. So we're going to create some styles here for our main content. We need to do a couple media queries. We need it to be responsive, so we want it to look different on desktop versus mobile. So I'm going to copy my media queries from global.css and paste them into signup.css. And we are going to start out by finding our site content container on desktop. So on desktop, we're going to set our site content container to width of 800 pixels and the margin of zero auto will always keep our 800 pixels centered on the screen, no matter what size of the browser is. I copy this down to the mobile media query and we're simply going to give it a width of 100%. Next class we have to set up is site content centered. So we'll start out on desktop and we're going to give it a width of 50% and a margin of zero auto. Basically our site content centered is always 50% of our container, which is 800 pixels, and it is centered. Copy this down to mobile and since our site content container is already width of 100%, we're just going to give this a little padding so it looks nice. Inside of our centered section, we have our site content section. Start out by setting that up on desktop. We're going to give it a white background, and it's going to have a border radius 5 pixels, so we have nice rounded corners. We're going to set it 20 pixels below our uh, header that we set up, our dark header. On mobile, we don't need the margin top. All right, so refreshing our page. See, we have our, this is our section right here with our little white background where our form will go. Break it down. See, it has that nice little padding of 10 pixels. So we have our section container set up. Now we just have to code up the form. Our form goes here text and go bye-bye because now we're actually going to code up the form. Give our form a header, call it sign up. All right, so this is the heading to our form. It's called sign up and give it the styles. So our section heading will be at the top of our form section. Nice big font size, and we're going to center our text. Make sure we're on the right track here. Boom, there's our section heading. Under our section heading, set up our form. First div inside of our form is going to contain the error message in case the user doesn't fill out everything. And we leave that empty because later on, that will be populated with JavaScript. Set up our error message class. So our simple error message class just says the font is red and we're going to center the message under the error message and start coding up the input fields. First thing I've set up here is the label for our input. So the label will be right above our input field and we need to specify styles for it. Section label has been defined. See where we're at. There's our label. Now we can create our input. Email is type text and give it a name of email, which will come in handy later when we are validating our input fields. Let's see how our form is looking. Wow, it's looking pretty ugly. So we're gonna style up our input field. We're not using a class for this, we're just putting a style directly on the input. 
So now all inputs on our signup.php file will get these styles. We're going to give it a light border. We're going to round the border on the corners. We're going to give it some padding, set it to width of 100%. The box sizing border box is going to make sure that our input field stays within our container div and doesn't overflow. You see, we have our input field styled up. It's got a little padding on it. It's got a nice light border. Now we just need to get some padding on this whole section container here with the white background. So this is our site content section inner right here. So we're going to give ourselves a nice little padding of 10 pixels on everything inside. Refresh the page. Boom. Our signup form is starting to take shape and look good. So for the rest of the fields, we can just simply copy and paste and update the label and the name. Need a first name, last name, a password. And in order to get those little dots when the user types in the input field, you have to change the type of text to be type of password. Copy the password and we're going to do a confirm password. Leave that as type password because we also want the confirm password to just be dots in the browser when the user enters into the confirm password input field. And that is all the input fields we need for our form. Let's check out the web page, see how it looks. Now these are all looking pretty close together, so we want to add a little margin top on each of these sections. The div, and I'm going to give this a class. And we're going to call this section mid container. We don't need it on the top one because the top one, uh, this div right here, there's already some padding and margins around this error message. So we're just going to put it on the last four. We're going to hop over to the uh, signup.css. Under our section label, we're going to do section mid container and give it a margin top of 10 pixels. Refresh our page and there, everything's spaced out and looks a little nicer. Now below our form here, below the confirm password, is where we are going to put our sign up button. We're going to make a new div that's going to hold our button. So our HTML for our button container is just like this. We got to style up our section action container, which is going to hold our button. So this is right below the confirm password, so we're going to put a little margin top on it and align everything center. Then we can style up our section button container. So our section button container, we're going to give ourselves some padding. We want the text to be white, and we want the background color to be the same as our homepage sign up button background. Now we just need to set up the hover for our button. So we want the background to be transparent and the cursor to be pointer. Save that out, refresh our page. There's our, there's our nice looking sign up button. Hover over it. Now we just have to make it do stuff when you click on it. But before we do that, we want to place a login button down here just in case the user is already a member. And we'll style up our section footer container. All right, so now we have a nice little option for users in case they already are a member, they can click the login link right here. Let's check that out in the browser. Perfect, got our sign up button and right under it, already a member, login. And that takes them right to the login.php, which is still to come in a future video. All right, so our sign up form has been coded up using HTML and CSS. That leaves jQuery. Back in our signup.php file, we are going to start coding up the front end validation. For this, we need some more JavaScript in our head section. All right, so once the page is loaded, we need to set up an on click for our sign up button. So, right in here, we're going to create an ID called sign up button. And we need to make sure this ID is on our actual sign up button in the HTML. So back down to our right below the form, we have our sign up button container, we're going to put this ID on that container. So whenever this container gets clicked, we are going to do stuff right here. Let's just verify this is working by alerting a hello. Refresh this page, 
click sign up. Our JavaScript is working. First of all, we need to deal with our error message div container. And what we want to do here is we want to clear out the HTML from our error message. Every time they click sign up, we need to wipe it out and then recalculate it because maybe there's a new error message. So we have our error message ID and on that div, we're going to set the HTML to blank right here. Here's our div. So maybe they enter their email incorrectly first and this says invalid email. Now they click sign up again, but this time they've entered a valid email. So we need to wipe that, that old error message away and maybe now it's first name that they missed. So then it would say first name. This is why we clear out the error message on every click of the sign up button. The next thing we need to do is remove the invalid input class. And we're gonna remove this from all input fields. We need to define this class because I don't think we've set this up yet. We're gonna set this up and all this is gonna be is a border, rate, border color of red. So same with wiping our error message away. We also need to make sure that we wipe all of the red borders off of all of the input fields before we start validating it again. So after we have cleared our error message and cleared all of the red borders, we are going to assume that all the fields have been filled in and therefore we can sign the user up. Now we are going to validate. We are going to loop over each input field in our form and check to see if it has anything entered in. This if statement right here is going to check for that. You can see we have if this.val, which is going to get the value from the input field as we loop over them, email, first name, last name, password. And if it's empty, we know that this is invalid. Now, if it's invalid, we need to add the invalid input class so that it gets the red border. And we do that with the add class function. Just as we did the remove class up here, we do add class down here. And if one of these is invalid, we know the all fields filled in flag is false. Now, after our loop over all the input fields, we're going to alert pass if something has been entered into each input field. We're going to alert no if one of the input fields has nothing in it. And this loop right here will take care of adding on the invalid input only to the inputs that have a value of blank. So if we refresh this page and we click sign up right away, look at that. No, no. And each one gets a red border. So if I, now if I put in an email address and I click sign up, you see I still get the no, but the email has now been validated to true. And so only the blank input fields get the red border. Just to make sure this works, fill in all of them, click sign up, and now we should see pass. Perfect. So we just want to clean up this if else down here. Now, if it fails, we need to create an error message, right? So this error message up here, we can copy this down here in the else. We know it failed, but we don't want it to be blank. We now want to say all fields must be filled in. And we're going to also put a scroll top on this window. What this does is it always scrolls the page to the top. And the case here is on mobile, maybe they have to scroll down to click sign up and they won't see the error message unless we scroll back to the top. If, if we have been successful and all the fields have been filled in, the first thing we want to do is we want to display our loader. And we can do our one line of show loader because we have included our loader.js right here. So if all fields have been filled in, see a loader. All right, I'm back on the sign up page. I'm not gonna fill anything in. I'm gonna click sign up. Look at that, our error message pops up here and everything is in red. Now if I fill in the rest and click sign up, we should see our loader. The reason we don't see our loader is because the loader never got initialized. Hopping back over to our index file, this is how we initialize our loader. Once it's been initialized, then and only then can we call loader.showloader. So I'm gonna cop, hop back over to signup.php and paste that right up here. In document.ready function, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna initialize our loader. Now it's ready to be used. So now if I fill in everything and click sign up, our loader appears and it never goes away because we haven't specified any steps after showing our loader, which will come in another video. This is where we do the backend sign user up.
And if that succeeds, then we do a redirect to our login.php file. So if I just do loader.showloader and I do a, a redirect to login.php, we should see this redirecting us. Sign up, loader showed up, and it directed us to login.php. Now this line right here, backend user sign up, there's a lot going on here. We're going to be sending all our input fields to the server and doing real validation to make sure that the user has a valid email, the passwords match, and all that good stuff. And then only if all that stuff happens, will we, redirect, will we redirect them to the login.php page. That's gonna do it for this video, the sign up page front end with HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Like and subscribe down below and leave a comment. Let me know what you would want to learn and see implemented next. Remember, easy code is, and I'll catch you later.